Okay, I am now at the top of the stairs at 813 Prescott, so second floor. Um, looking down over the ledge, you can see the entryway that I came in on. You have a big window here with just a little decorative ledge as well. And right when you get to the top of the stairs, you have a landing that gives you options to go into three separate bedrooms and a bathroom. So turning to my left is bedroom number one on this floor carpet in all the bedrooms and it's in pretty decent shape i mean it could use a wash um, carpet cleaning but nothing real bad here is the bathroom for this level so kind of a pinky shade on the cabinet top and you do have a bathtub shower insert and vinyl flooring here in this bathroom Okay. Now coming out of that room, we're going to turn to my right again, and this is going to be bedroom number two on this second level. Um, you can see pretty standard size closet there, and you do have this little butt out area in the back side of this room, which then looks over into the backyard um, that we were in earlier. Okay, so coming back out of this bedroom... Um, also to my left is bedroom number three. You can see you've got like a wallpaper liner on this bedroom, a couple different colors of paint. Again, um, the ceiling is kind of spotty, you know, like they hit sections of it with paint at some point, um, but not necessarily evenly. I don't know if that was just cosmetic or what the deal was there. And so, again, a view into the backyard here from this room. And just another standard size closet. Um, really, it's hard to see with the coats and stuff in, but it's just a closet. Okay, so into the hallway. Now we're headed into the master bedroom. So before we hit the master, on the left side here is just a linen closet. Then headed into the master. I'm just going to pan so you can see the area. That's a really large bed. Um, for reference, that's a king size bed. And you can see the ceiling has a bit of recessed to it. And then headed into the bathroom. The countertops are Corian here in the bathroom. Um, and you can see dual sink here. Then again to my left, opening up here, you've got another linen closet. And then you head into the bathroom. You can see they put up this like curtain as a way of providing more privacy to this section of the bathroom. And so, um, just closet space here. So you've got a closet against this wall and a closet here. Both of these closets, I would say, are pretty standard size closets. Um, but it is nice to have two of those in this bathroom. So, you have a very large shower insert here in the master. So, um, you can see you've got dual shower heads, two places for soap. And you have these like clear blocks on one side and then the door on the other. Skylight in this room. It's kind of hard to tell in the video. There does seem to be a little bit of water damage in the corner there. Um, that's a pretty common place to get leaks on a roof just because of the angle of those windows. And then you do have a little water closet here in the master. Okay. So just coming back out of this bathroom, you can see, again, just... A whole panning of the master here and we're gonna pick this video back up in the basement